All right, this is absolutely out of control, but we just were driving down this road and literally there was like a just sitting on the side of the road. I wish I had it on film. Do you see it? Was it even real? I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Reach. I don't think they know. Alright, so this is a pretty crazy series of events that happened. So we're out here. This will be the second time feeding these specific stray cats and this really does show the significance of a small ripple effect throughout the universe so our friend george holt has sent sammy J a a huge box from chewy that had um huge bag of food in it dry food this bag here which is about halfway done already and two boxes of these and then some other plates and stuff to feed the strays and our friend Frank used to live down this street over on this side so we knew there was a bunch of strays there that lived kind of around the apartment complex that just kind of hang out and the people that live there have been known to give them like scraps of human food and maybe cat food sometimes but we were driving away from feeding those other strays come down this road and literally right here on the side of the road, there was like a tiny baby kitten literally sitting right here. And this is like an open road. As you can see, there's a car parked right there. All right, this is absolutely out of control, but we just were driving down this road and literally there was like a baby kitten, like it's not that small, but a baby kitten, a black cat, just like a road, just sitting on the side of the road. I wish I had it on film. It was just like wide-eyed looking at the car. Do you see it? Was it even real? And you didn't want to think to snag it, maybe? It's so tiny. The closer I got, she was running from me. So I tried to do the heat fall. She's in here somewhere. Hey, boobies. This way. Hey, baby. Here? No. Hey, Kiki. Hey, little Kiki. Oh, baby, Kiki. Where are you? There's like a colony of cats back here. Yo. Yeah. There's like a colony back here. I see all the, t the setups. They got houses and bowls everywhere. We should bring the food back here. Alright, so obviously this is where the cat lives. Just chilling. Put... All the bowls that I can see are empty, yeah. We should bring the whole bag back here. Okay. A tree fell down right here. All right, this is a decent setup. Let's see if there's any one in it. There could be a cat in this side. Maybe if we bring the food, the cat will come back. Yeah, they got bowls, so put some right here. I'm just gonna fill them all up, there's a lot. All right. Just... I'm gonna put one. Are these? That sounded big, right? It sounded like a full granny, right? Yeah, like a full grown bear, dude. 
Yeah. Martha, we can't sing. For real. A full, this isn't funny. A full guardian. It sounded like a freaking deer. <laughs> it was like it's it's like three feet behind me. Dude, it sounded like something was charging at us. It sounded like a person, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my this, this is crazy out here. We gotta get so out of here, bro. This is so dumb. What we do for you. This is how much we like cats. Did that way do you sound? We're gonna be useless if something comes and attacks us. That's for sure. Here, I'm gonna get those water too. There's water balls all over the place though. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, like whatever. there's like mad balls. Alright, what about right here? Right here. Put the light on. Just fill that up all with, with all like snake snacks. Right. Here, here, shine the light on me though, because I really can't see them. Do you want me to jump the other balls, or just that's good? Come here. Oh my God, just like Come here, baby. Turn the light off. Can't even fucking do anything with it. Oh my gosh. What? That's, your That's the baby kitten right there. Do you see it? I told you, dude. I gave you a gay smile. Like, yes, it is, dude. That was a totally different cat. Oh my gosh. Is that your baby? You can't take that cat from that mom. Yeah. You wouldn't eat. You, like, I'm so freaking mad right now that I can't see it with the camera. Oh my gosh. Are you guys Hi, are you guys seeing this right now? Oh Hi baby. Are you freaking the cat out? Let's just go and let them eat their snack. Hey baby. Hey. Why am I losing light? Oh my gosh, this kitten is basically bro. That cat's gonna attack you, dude. What you're like flashing like in its face. Look how small this cat is. Oh my gosh. I need this cat. Oh, it's so cute, but let's stop staring at it, right? That's Look cute. at the mama. Look how cute this is. I wish I could see this on film. God, hi. Here, give her some food. Here. Hi, Logan. I might cry. Here. Go ahead, baby. Yeah. No, this isn't happening. <laughs> This is the cutest thing I've seen since real. No way is this this cute. Get your snake snacks, mamas. Good baby. She a tick on it. thing ever. Get another snack for this baby girl. Yeah, she's hungry. You know what's so funny? In some crazy way of the universe working, mm -hmm. that mom knows that we're not going to take the cat or mess with the cat and it's letting her baby eat and it's staying right back there. 
No, yeah, she said go get food. That literally is the what happened. I guess they couldn't see because it's too dark, but... Get you snake snakes, you want more? This is so cute. Hi! Should I go get more? Hey, baby. Yeah. Get that weddies, moms. Get that weddies. Get, get that weddies, baby chicken. girl. Yeah. Go on with your bed, yeah, so. Get that. Don't eat too much now. Leave some for your mama. Get them snacks, moms. <laughs> Cat was just eating Literally, the middle of the way. I was way. just crying because I just. You thought there was a tick on her. <laughs> just a fuzzy such ball. Like a such a crier when it comes to baby I black keys. I just love keys. cats so much, and I just. It wouldn't be right for us to take her though. No, I would never take her from her mom. It's just sad. Like I wish, like I don't know. I just want they them. were closer so I could like check on them. I you know what I mean? like the mom to come over here though. I think an animal will come over here though. Oh, uh, maybe. So, I mean, that's they would not anyway, smart. right? Mm. Say goodnight to your baby. Good night, baby. Oh, shit. Look at Daddy Long Leg. Get that thing out of there. Can't even imagine <laughs> what's crawling on me right now. We gotta go, but enjoy your snake snacks, baby chicken. I'm gonna show you guys the size of this cat right now. Oh, scared. Well, she out. What was that noise? Over there. Oh, let's get out of here. Give me the light. Give me you can take the light. Oh, yeah. A tiny baby kitten. And it was like with wide eyed looking up at the car because we were going so slow. Being careful through here because there's no street lights or anything. And we got out and Sammy was trying to, you know, like, see where the cat was going. And we followed it back into the woods here and found that there's like a little colony of kittens. And we ended up feeding the cat a whole bunch of wet food. And it, it was either its mother or surrogate mother, another slightly bigger black cat, was protecting it. And it was literally underneath the cat. So like it was like one bigger size, like a roo cat. And then another little tiny baby underneath it. And the mom actually let the cat go and eat with us and get petted and everything. So I'm gonna grab this dry food. So that just goes to show that him sending us the food re-sparked our interest in bringing some food out to the cats that we knew were here and then we ended up finding cats that we didn't know were here and feeding them as well so I'm gonna bring this into the woods here and see if the guys the, the babies will come out make sure that the little baby gets a bunch of protein here So all the food we put there is gone. And then we filled up this thing aggressively. And literally all the food we put in it is, is gone wet and dry. So it's obvious that there's more cats here than just the few cats that we saw because there's no way that those two kittens ate all the food we left here. We left like four or five cans of wet food, and then like a whole bunch of uh, bowls of dry food. This is pretty incredible actually, this little area back here. So we'll see if we can get them to come out. If not, we're gonna just leave the food for them. All right, so I, these are also from him. So I'm gonna do like a little dry and then wet food, wet food and dry food in, in a couple of these and leave them here and we do have fresh water so this is how we're gonna do this so what's on the menu for today is wet food dry food and then she's gonna bring the fresh water and then they're gonna have fresh water I don't see the chicken nuggets today out here but 
obviously that doesn't mean much because they were here last night. So they're here today, unless someone snagged them up in the last 12 hours or 15 hours, however long. Oh, they have a play toy here too. But it doesn't seem like anyone's been out here to feed them today. Let's see, let's go deeper here. There is actually a colony right here. This is much. This is the colony here. This is the legit setup, this one. So they have more houses and more cats for sure. No, just where they sleep. You see, somebody came and fed them today. You think? Well, that wasn't our food. No. That but they ate food. ours and that, though? There must be a lot There's of cats. There's a lot of cats over here. There's like... A whole bunch of houses here. So let's just fill them up again, right? Yeah, there's fresh newspapers in there. And then this goes in deeper. See, I'm telling you, somebody like... We don't want any. What's are you, up? What are you selling? We don't want any. Um, I'm here to buy. I'm not here to sell. What's up, boy? I'm here to buy, brother. Big dog, what's good? What dude, it's what's hot sell? out there, huh? Oh, uh, dude. If, you, if I tell you what I had to do today, you wouldn't believe me. You ready for this? Yeah, tell. My buddy was changing his mom's toilet. And guess what he dropped down the drain? A screwdriver. So now it's in the drain somewhere. So he called me. You're not going to get it. I'm going to get it because I do these kind of things. You know what they call me? The wolf. Did you ever see Pulp Fiction? That's me, brother. <laughs> That's me, the wolf. <laughs> there's kidding, a problem man. they call Big Bob. Big Bob solves the problem. <laughs> I'm the wolf. <laughs> Any problem? I hope it ain't gonna be a problem, bro. Show me what I didn't know. What, the twist lock? About my new drill. That's how you know about this. The twist locks. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's some, most of them are. She has the little tab. Are you about Milwaukee? Oh yeah. Drills like that. It's a good drill, dude. Next day, got this one. Ended up paying five. The hammer drill? Dude. Is it a hammer drill? This guy was just giving his stuff away. No way. Yeah. Dude, you paid five for that? Yeah. And it's a hammer drill. It's golden. Talk about powerful, right? Yeah, that's how you drill concrete with that. You know what I mean? I don't even know why he would sell it. See, that's not. It's not, no. I just looked at that after looking at this one. <laughs> but dude, I got the collection for 15 bucks. <laughs> Can't beat that, right? That This is probably worth more than that, believe it or not. I would think so, yeah. This is the hammer drill. But see, even the triggers are like paddle wheels on the handle instead of a trigger trigger. It's a pain in the balls. Film it and then I'll splice in the footage. Yeah. I'll be cutting the pipe and this stuff all hit me in the face. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. That's a strange occupation. Yeah. For real. I sweat. Yeah, brother. Give a comment, guys, if you want to see this video of Bob fishing a screwdriver out of a toilet. <laughs> no, a toilet drain, not the toilet. If it was just a toilet, I'd throw the toilet away. No. It's going crazy. This is this is out of control, Paul. Bidding war. Somebody just won it, I think. A waiting payment, hundred and twenty dollars. Full bidding war. For a camera that I got for seventy-five cents. That was one of the best buys we ever got. Yeah, I bet. I guess so. When it sells for that much. That's so wild. Have you ever bought something for 75 cents and sold it for 120? Uh, 
No, I can't. I don't think I. I don't, I don't think I have. No. How's your chopping block working? This it's great. It's awesome. Fantastic. It it does exactly what I need to. Yeah, you're still going. No, that. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So here we are in the garage that we use for our shipping headquarters. Tuck and Sammy's International Warehouse is actually just our garage. But we, yeah, I wanted to show you guys a couple things that we sold on eBay just in the last today, or bids ended. I do do bids on eBay, even though people say it's not a good idea. It works for us, so everything works differently for everyone. I did want to just say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who ordered a shirt. I think we got between 60 to 70 orders so far since we released our new design. I haven't packed a single one yet, so here they are all right here, and I'm about to start on that right now, but I have some footage from the other day that I want to show you guys of just items that we sold on eBay. Just today, I'm going to put the camera down, but I wanted to show some really crazy sales that we made that aren't for tons of money. I wouldn't say that these sales are going to like get us rich or anything, but at the same time, a little triumphs in life can be extremely important. So I wanted to show this one item. This was one of the craziest items we've ever sold. I know the lighting's not good having the camera facing towards the sun so I may just put it right here all right that's much better so this we bought at the citywide yard sale in Egg Harbor City for 75 cents at the American Legion and it sold today winning bid $120 and it's going to be shipped all the way to Los Angeles and I wanted to show you guys the message that I got right after it sold. It sold and a few minutes later I got this message. Hi, I'm so excited to finally get my hands on an XA. I know UPS is lagging a bit but I would be so grateful if the camera could get here as soon as possible. Hoping it will arrive by the 22nd. Thank you and have a great day. So these cameras are extremely sought after. There was about 20 plus bids on it and I told the lady who bought it, no problem, I'll make sure it gets fast shipping because she spent a lot of money and she spent $9 on shipping, which is probably more than it would cost. I am gonna pack this really well and ship it to her. I also wanted to show two other items that sold real quick. Okay, so the Thundercat three action figures that I got from the yard sale the other day, last two weeks ago probably, sold for $20 plus shipping. I knew that they would sell easily and this lot of credit card machines sold for 42 bucks plus shipping. I'm not subtracting the eBay and PayPal fees, so this isn't the full profit that I'm saying in the videos. This um, came from a thrift store in Florida, and I bought five cash registers, seven credit card machines, and other stuff for 10 bucks. So this paid for everything plus made money on top of it. It was a long time. I should have had those posted while we were in Florida, but I did not. And then, which I trash picked a few days ago, sold for parts, and that sold for 28 bucks plus shipping. And yeah, so 20, you know, 20 bucks at least in profit. Just roadside trash, trash to treasure, trash to cash, I should say, um, just for parts. You know, it's non-working. But uh, even just these little parts here, you know, this, even some of the knobs and such could sell for 20 bucks. It's pretty crazy. I put the uh, the dust cover up separately, and that might sell for 50 alone, I think. So I wanted to do that, some just overview of what we've been selling on eBay. Um, I wouldn't say that we're aggressive eBay listers or sellers or anything of that sort. I just list a few items, you know, every couple of days I put up maybe five items or something. And it's just pretty crazy if you start learning some of the items that people buy that you can get for so cheap or even free. 
that it becomes like a little game to see what you can sell and it's almost just something that anyone can do so you don't have to be a specialist really in any field to be an eBay someone that sells on eBay I think it's good extra cash for almost anybody in the world to do it if you can have access or get a hold of vintage or collectible stuff uh, so many people do it so and make money but I'm gonna pack up this stuff and then I'm gonna get into packing all the shirts This is gonna be our third time back to these specific cats here. Got this pillow to put in their house and some blankets. Hey! Hi, baby! Come get some food. Come on. They're in the trees, he said. They're in the train. Uh-huh. The cat? Yeah, look here, watch. Go farther back and then shine your light in the tree. There was eyes in the trees. Like two, four, six sets of eyes. I swear on my life there were six sets of eyes. In the tree? In the trees. Six sets of eyes. Two, four, six. Like they were You see them now? No. Could have been an owl or something, right? No, no, no. They were, they were two. They were like regular eyes. Like cats? Yeah. Come on, get some snacks, baby. Yeah, they cleaned the weddies out, dude. Huh? They cleaned the weddies out that we put here. Not gonna lie, I just saw the biggest bite I ever saw in my life. Come get some food. It's like cypresses boy. That's one of the boys for Hi. sure. Come That's on. a big dog, that That's dude. A huge cat. I'm telling you, they're in the trees. The cats are in Hi, the trees. Daddy. It might be the only place for him to go. Hi. Come on, babe. Come on. Go ahead, baby. He's not scared of us, he's scared of something else, which is creeping me out. You okay? Go ahead. Eat your snick snacks, go on. That's why I keep turning the regular light on because... You just leave the regular light on, dude. I'm trying to just see what's my surroundings, you know? And what? Last night was dreadful feeling. Should we leave the cat food? Oh, he wants... You have weddies, honey. Should we give him the rest of the weddies? This guy's a big boy. He likes his snake snacks, huh? Yeah, of course he likes his weddings. His really good weddings. He likes just the weddings, not the dries. You know, it's really wild because I saw six sets of eyes and I'm just wondering where I saw them. I know you didn't see it, but I saw it. And it was in a bin. Cats don't climb trees like that, do they? I can't turn myself, but uh, there are some crazy spiders in here. And I'm not feeling them. I'm feeling about just leaving the water here. Yeah, leave, definitely leave the water here. Hey! Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> what do you say? Babies. Uh uh Yeah. The little little? Come on! When you shine, we're about to leave and... <laughs> This guy came out. You're welcome. We'll come back, okay? He legit. Oh shit, you might be right. Hey! I mean, that's not gonna be that. Like, that's. 
not the easiest life to live. Hey. He's probably born in those woods. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. You're good, right? Are you okay? You're welcome. You like your snake snakes? Yeah. We'll be back. You got fresh water. He gave you fresh blankies. Go in there and lay on the fresh blanket. It's nice and clean. Okay? Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Huh? What do they call you around here? You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good baby. You got them balls snipped off, boy? This is an older cat, I think. Yeah. Okay. Correct? He's got like cataracts. What's that noise? It's a good boy. Shh. Pretty clean, though. Say we bounce out of here, though. We'll see you later, okay? All right, this is what we're doing. We're going to fill all of the t-shirt orders. And Rue's going to be the main one doing it. Look at her. Uh -oh. These are your shirts, Mama. We're going to send them to all your friends. She, yeah. she made it on a shirt. She's uh -oh. a, she, Rue is a star. So we have all the shirts right here, and we're going to pack them all. Where's the star? Well, where's the stuff? She made it on the shirt, she and she's did. dusty from being in here. She's purring now. Because she likes getting a rough petting. Like, sometimes you would think this is too crazy. She loves it. She's a chicken. She's a chicken head. Little chicken head, huh? Come on, Rira. Do your work, girl. Start packing those shirts, girl. All right, we're going to put a little time lapse up and then start going. So, we'll see you guys in a bit. an order from Joel in Minnesota he said you two light up this old man's dreams I have something special for you as well Tuck I think you need a small sandblaster to help Sammy J be able to paint some of her projects like the iron parlor chairs just a thought lol special request not request special order with a message thank you Joel <laughs> and your shirt is on the way I had to print it Woo woo. She's helping. That's... Alright, Tammy Davis said, Thank you. Love everything you do and your inspirational messages. Thank you for ordering a shirt. Stoked. So Alright, Bill Reynolds bought two shirts and he left a message. He said, Talking Sammy, love your content. Never know what to expect and always entertaining. Wishing you help, happiness, health, happiness, and love. Thank you. Appreciate it. Variety is the spice of life, so always something new. Gotcha. Kayla in Montana said, love your channel. Watching you all the way in Montana. Never Woo! been, would love to go, but your shirt is on the way. On the way. All right, shout out to Brenda in Pennsylvania. She said, thanks for doing what you do. You have given me and lots of people hope. Love for reselling and doing cool things. Never give up the journey. I'm your biggest fan on Insta. Lit art made by me. Love the Riro. Heart, heart, heart. Riro, you heard? She's got fans. What can I say? She loves you. She's a brat. Say thank you. Say something. Say something. Riro? She's purring. All right, we got Jason Harris asking a specific request. He wants an XL shirt. And he wants Landis to bless it. Shall we find him? Let's do this. 
<laughs> but he wants Rue to bless it. She'll be crying out here to come in soon. Lando. Is he in there? Come on, Landis. Oh, he's gonna bless it so good. Look at him. He's ready for blessings. Hey, you your snake snacks, huh? Can you bless this shirt, sir? Show it to him. Look, it's Ruru's face. He's mad that it's Ruru's face. Bless it, Landis. His. Go on. You gonna bless the shirt? Look. All right. Blessings on blessings. Blessings. You don't want him to drill on it. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. All right, Faye Robertson, always supporting. Thank you. Said I love these teas. You. Mary Beth, also always supporting. Said make a shirt with Landis. I still want a picture of him in his tie or a sticker. I heart Landis. Some strong sentiment towards the Landis claims. Lance from New York said, thanks Sammy and Tuck. F and love you guys. Thank you. The Cape General said, you doggy. And Cape May, you're the man. And Amy Minter said, love you guys. Pandera, Murky, and Pinkers. Pinkles. Her cats. Chris just said, could you please have the kitties, and didn't finish the sentence, but probably have the kitties bless it. And our boy Dumpster Marcus bought a shirt. He said, you. Linda from Tennessee said, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Kimberly Rogers from Kansas City said, love the video and the story. You both are amazing. Jane Phillips, you are the one that said that you wanted a shirt that said another beautiful day in paradise. And the next day, the shirts were done. And she said, I knew a shirt saying another beautiful day in paradise would sell like hotcakes. I'm happy for you guys. Love from Washington Sedate. And Thomas from South Carolina. I need this for my Tuck and Sammy display cabinet. Okay, okay. Mike from Kansas said, Ruru just looks just like my gypsy. Thank you. Darcy. From Idaho said, love your videos. Would love a coffee before claims t-shirt and 4XL. Love you guys. Big hugs from Idaho. You. We, I think, are going to make the coffee before claims t-shirts eventually. Maybe not. Probably not the long sleeves again, though. Annie from Connecticut said, I've been wanting to order for a while, but had to order today because these new shirts are going to sell out fast. Love you guys. And that's it. All the messages. So we're going to pack the rest of these. And then get him to the post office. All right, officially making the trek to the post office. Like 70 orders all packed today. So I just wanted to say thank you all, seriously, so much. This is so much support and I'm really happy that we're making clothing that people actually want to buy and they're excited about it. I got so many messages. We got messages and comments and emails saying how awesome the shirts are and how people love them. So stoked taking this load to the post office. I'm going to have to do like three trips in and out because MJ got out in the yard and he's not an outside cat. So Sammy's trying to get him and he hides under the back porch um, and we don't like to leave the house with him there when he's outside. He snuck out the back where Landis lives. But we're going to try and get these out today just in case we get more orders or just so everyone can get them as soon as possible. Just get them going. So this is what all of them look like. And we're at the post office. So we're stoked. Thank you guys so much again. All right, so every package is shipped. Thank you guys again. I know I keep saying it, but for real, thank you guys again for ordering uh, from our merch, some of our merchandise. It means so much. It's so much more powerful selling our own stuff than other people's stuff or other merchandise. And like I said before, I've always wanted to have a clothing brand and slowly but surely it's going to actually happen eventually so we are going to do try and get set up with another design and have that ready in about a month or so 
and hopefully you guys didn't like it as much as you like this one because this one sold really well and a lot of people uh, we had a really really good uh, reaction to the shirt and a good reaction to the video of us digging it up Sammy in the pirate outfit and that was fun to make I just wanted to say and I say it all the time but it's important if you know that you're a good person and you're on your true path and you're doing what is right for you without affecting other people negatively don't worry too much about what other people think because other people's opinions of you don't really matter in the long run we have a short time on this earth to accomplish things that are important to us and if we always base what we're doing and where we're going on other people's opinions it's really hard to find who we are so do it for the love of it and do it for yourself before you do anything for other people because it seems like everyone's trying to impress someone else and they're kind of leaving their you know their dreams at the door i guess that's a way of putting it but yeah don't really worry about people's opinions um too much obviously if it's someone in your family or someone close to you and they're trying to help you you should listen to them but if there's someone that's an outside force and they're literally just being mean because they like don't like their own life or they see that you're doing something you know that could be cooler than them or better than them and you're doing it for yourself there's going to be a lot of haters that try and tear down your balcony in life and nuts to them live your dream or live your own truth things that make you happy are very important see you guys in the next video all right fresh morning so just packed up all the remaining orders that came in last night so i think it was about six various different shirt orders and today we have hopefully in the next 10 minutes the purchase of this bandsaw which has been sitting here for like a week or maybe even a little bit more and I had it listed for $130 which to me was a complete discount this guy offered 100 and I just I said yeah because it's actually getting rusty out here and I probably should have just put it right here but it didn't really want it inside in the way I have so much already in the garage I thought it would sell within like a day but it's taken a little bit longer so I'm just gonna take the best I can offer and that's legit trash to cash we found this in the trash right down the street and hopefully the guy's gonna use it so I'll try and scoop just like a little some footage of us dealing with it in the next couple minutes recycling day so I'm gonna put the recycling cans back What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, you can back up there. Yeah. Hey. So here it is if you want to check it out first. Yeah. You use said dry like bulbs broken, is that all? If you use something like this, it'll, it'll come right off. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can check it out. But actually, that my neighbor down the street gave it to me. Right. And he had it for years and used it all the time. But he's like older and just doesn't use it anymore. It takes right. up so much space. So. You turn it on. I mean, I think that's just like a storage cabinet. Yeah. But, but it's pretty. I mean, I want to keep it, but I have no use for it. Really. Right. Yeah, I'm getting into woodwork. I was looking for something with this, a little more height on it. I mean, I have like this old drill press. Right. And I use it like three times, but it takes up my whole. Like, Take, yeah, you know, I just bought so one. Yeah. Space, and it's yeah. Like, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, getting into woodwork more, and this is like one of the things that I've been <laughs> really. This needed. little one. Yeah, a little scroll saw there. And that's like so easy to just put out of the way. Yeah. yeah. 
But how do you want to do it? Do you want to use a hand car? Yeah, that might be. Yeah, I don't know how heavy. It's probably heavy, but it's pretty heavy. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> I was going to move the car, but I think it won't run now. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know what the rain was doing, so. <laughs> well, I, I had it under a tarp, but it definitely got a little wet. I don't think it matters, but nah, I definitely fun. wanted to get it out of here as soon as I could. Yeah. All right. Um, probably the easiest way. Maybe back here. Probably back here. Yeah. 